Hello YouTube, today I'm going to review this brand new PCS 1978 Halloween Michael Myers one for scale collectible statue. This is the slasher exclusive that it comes with pumpkin that lights up and a bloody knife. I heard a lot of good and bad things about this statue and I can't wait to see how this is gonna look. Very excited. Right now you can see the front of the box. It's the Michael Myers really good looking art holding a knife and then the bottom it says Halloween the title and one for scale collectible statue and slasher exclusive. And in the corner in the bottom, I mean in the side it says PCS. Here is the side of the box. You can see the awesome classic pictures, uh, pumpkin with the knife. And the top it says PCS. And here is the back of the box. You can see the title and Michael Myers statue standing there uh, with the base. And you can see the smoke coming from the behind. Actually, when I saw this picture at Sideshow, I really liked it. And I feel like the lighting is really, really good. And actually, let's see if the actual statue is going to look just as good as the pictures so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to open this box up so we can see everything inside all right here's the inside of the box you can see they uh, package everything very well uh first thing i'm going to show you guys is this uh certificate of authenticity from 1500 and mine is 1376 pretty high number but it still doesn't bother me um right here we have the michael myers body looking really good Here's the, the head and the arm. And of course the pumpkin, since this is the Slasher exclusive. Here's the base. I like that it's not too big and not too small. So that's gonna, not gonna take a lot of space. So uh, I like that a lot. And right here is the bloody knife and the regular version that I'm definitely going to display with this bloody one. And I feel like it's gonna look way better. Uh, the difference between the slasher exclusive and the regular version is they're both $600 but the slasher exclusive one it comes with pumpkin and bloody knife so I will definitely recommend this one since they're both the same price uh, can't wait to see how this is gonna look so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out and let's see how to go right, right now I'm going to show you, show you guys everything one by one so I'm gonna uh, remove it from the uh, this package they all look great uh, I think the first thing I'm going to pick is, let's see, I think I'm going to pick the base and let's see how it's going to look, uh, how heavy it is. It's, uh, I would say it's pretty heavy, not too uh, light. Okay, let's see, let's remove it from this. And I'm going to put this right here. Yeah, you can see this is the base. Uh, I really love this top, feels like a real wood and also the look of it, super super nice. Uh, pretty, I would say it's not light and not too heavy but I would say this kind of feels like it's 5-6 uh, five, pounds, 5 pounds, 4-5 pounds. Um, really well done and it doesn't feel hollow at all. This is 7 or 9 and this is a picture of Michael Myers when his first kill when he was a kid uh, really well done I was actually thinking when I saw this in the pictures on the website I was thinking if it would be it's better that they actually uh, draw this or I or if they will just put a real picture the scene of the movie will be better because uh, the paint job is good maybe they could have done it better but maybe I would even prefer if it was a picture like they will just put the artwork here from the movie instead of drawing it and stuff but it still look really good. Uh, I love the material. This is the part that the micro, there's a thing in the leg, I believe it goes right here. Uh, very well done. Uh, this side is his sister's thing. And then this is the scene of the movie, you can tell right there in the pumpkin. I think I like this one so far the best. If I want to compare it with this one. And the other side is the Michael and the closet part. Really well done. Uh, I will say the pick the the artwork that they did. The paint job isn't the best, but uh, it still look well done. They could have maybe done it better, like the the draw the 
the paint job and stuff, the coloring will be better. They could have done it maybe. That's why I would prefer like maybe if they will put the real picture here instead of drawing it. But still look, I'm happy with it. Still look uh, super nice. And this is the last one. Super cool. I like this face a lot. And I like that it has a weathering to it. And it feels like a real food. Back to the front. And this is the back. It's the Halloween one for scale statue slash your exclusive. 1376 out of 1500. I love when they put this in the back of the statue. It means it's gonna just stay here. They even put it in the box too. They even wrote it down with the pen and like that. So I like that they take time and wrote it on all of the packages. Very well done. Oh, this line here. Yeah, it has a good wearing to it. Weathering, it looks old. Super nice. There's something in there. It's moving. I believe it's inside. I don't know what it is. I don't see anything in out there, so. Alright, this is the base. I'm gonna put it inside. Uh, the other thing I'm going to show, I would say, I will pick, if I pick the, the bloody knife, then I remove the bag, and let's see what's, how this one gonna look. This is the hand. The bloody knife, very well done. See the knife, other side. Uh, let's see the blood. It looks good. Maybe it could be better, but but I like it. It's good. Like uh, maybe they could have make it make it a little bit thicker. Like it's like it's a fresh. Yeah, the paint job on here. You can see the veins in the hands. Uh, very well done. This is the bloody knife. I'm gonna put it aside, and I'm most likely displaying it with that. Uh, just real quick, I'm gonna show you the the real knife. I like that they put it in this baggy stuff. It's like more professional. I really like it. Here's the the regular version. This one is just, uh, the regular edition is just gonna have this, not the bloody one, so that's why I would recommend getting the this exclusive one, since it's the same price, so you just, if you miss this, basically you're gonna miss the pumpkin and uh, the bloody knife, but still it's gonna look really good even without the bloody, but I would prefer the bloody knife more. The knife, it's a little sharp, but not super. And I don't know what material this is, probably like a resin or something, plastic. But it's uh, super thick, very hard to bend. This is a regular knife. Now I'm gonna show you all. I think the head, the arm right here. Let's see how this one looks. Put back the bag right here. This is the arm that it says left arm. You can see very well done. I like the wings, and I believe it should be a magnet. Super nice. This is the fist. Um, I was I was actually thinking like if it should be better. Uh, to be like just an open hand, like relaxed hand, then like a fist. Uh, what I would think is like the fist is kind of feels like he's mad, like he's just getting angry with like he wants to attack, so he's just making a fist. But I saw, so I think I would prefer maybe like a relaxed hand for a pose, uh, for like displaying thing, but it still look good. Uh, maybe I would prefer like a relaxed hand, but still good. Well done. Uh, now I'm gonna pick 
it's kind of hard part to either pick the the head or the pumpkin but i think i'm gonna pick the pumpkin first what is this baggy thingy that is coming with or oh, i think these are the batteries to put for the pump for the pumpkin to light up i didn't know i thought it's gonna be already in there so that's pretty good that they included that here is the wow this looks really well done honestly i like this pumpkin so much it even looks good with the back so let's see how it's gonna look wow honestly it looks oh wow this looks great one I like the smell of it, it smells super fresh and like a resin, really well done. I would say in front of the camera it uh, looks a little bit maybe lighter, but no, it looks good. Super nice, this is the back, you can see some scratches in there. And here is the thing, the eyes, I like how it looks old. And this is where the battery is, let's see if there is a... No, I have to put the batteries in there. I think I'm going to put the batteries uh, when I completely made up the Michael Myers. I put everything together and then I'm going to light this thing up. Yeah, the pumpkin looks really good. This one, to be honest, I would say the Slasher Edition, the reason I liked it, not because of the knife only, but this is for most likely the pumpkin is the more like the important reason that I like this last year. It's going to look super good to display this uh, in front of the, I mean, in the base. And also it comes with, this is the, put it there separate. This is the pumpkin, the top part. Let me put this down and open this one. And it seems like it's closed. No, it's actually open here. Here, this is the top part of the pumpkin. You can see there's a good paint job right there. It's the head, I would say, just goes like this, and you just display it like this. Really good. thingy yeah it looks just like the movie very well done uh, now it's the time for of course I think actually I'm gonna first show you guys the I will say the body let's see how this one wow it's pretty heavy guys <laughs> very heavy Wow, very good. Oh, it comes with the uh, ghost. Is this ghost poster? I'm gonna check that out soon. Um, yeah, the body is very well done. Um, of course, I like that it's a cloth. Uh, this is the part, the magnet part it goes in. Uh, is this a zipper? I think, yeah, it has a zipper and you can uh, bring it down and up. See, it comes down until here. And there's a shirt. I feel like it's, it feels stretchy. There's a black shirt. This is the bag. It's very heavy. I would say this one is probably also, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell, but... Uh, We'll say this is like five, six pounds again, or even more. The legs. I really like the, the shoes. See. I like this uh, collar here, and this is the part that it goes on the base and the other side. And the color of the skin, 
I wish they will make it an actual uh, skin color, but it's just uh, plain white. But uh, I mean, it's, it's the pants is covering it anyway, so it's not a big deal. But still, I would prefer if it was a real uh, skin color. And just to show the, the front part. Really good. Yeah, it's a good quality, I would say. Very good. Like, comparing if I want to compare it to my other cloth statues or figures that I have. You can tell it's a great material. And then these are real pockets. So you can even put stuff in there. Super nice. And the last thing that I was waiting, actually, let me see what is this one right here. Oh, this is gloves if you guys want to use it uh, to show everything. <laughs> it's kind of cool that they gave us this. Actually, very cool. Let's it. And right now I'm gonna show you guys the, the main focus that I was a little bit worried and people also that how the sculpt, how the mask is gonna look. Is it gonna look uh, just like we saw in the pictures, the hair, everything. But let's find out. Let's see. Uh, this is the hair. Slick back. Oops, was about to fall. The head is pretty light, so. Yeah, to be honest, the paint job is really good. Let's see the side view. But this one, I always, I kind of found out that uh, for Michael Myers, he shouldn't put the light directly to his face, even though right now you can see the eyes, even though they're showing, but it's a little bit hard to see. I kind of want to show you guys the eyes. They're there, but kind of harder to see it. Yeah, the eyes are really good, the hair, perfect. I will maybe like fix it a little bit more. But I'm glad I saw video like pictures sometimes like they look more flat, but mine is pretty good. I will just style it probably some pieces out. And it's gonna I'm gonna try to make it more accurate, but the paint job looks looks good, I will say I like it a lot, like the line. But yeah, if I'm kind of looking, maybe I would say it's same as the pictures we saw on the website before it gets released. Very, very similar to that. But it all goes the lighting and stuff for Michael Myers, what type of lighting you guys use. You shouldn't put it directly to his face. It should be either from if you're like the top to bottom. It's going to show it the paint job even better. Looks really good. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put uh, everything together and see how Michael is gonna look. So I'll be right back. All right guys, just before I uh, show you all the final uh, results, how it's gonna look, just wanna show you all how the head and stuff, uh, it goes in there, it's just a magnet. Uh, you just see the magnet right there. You just uh, bring the head and very, very strong, strongly went there. And of course, I have to bring the things up so it's gonna look even more screen accurate. Let's see, very well done. Let's see, and also this is the same thing with the hand. It's just like this. It's just goes in there. Hi guys, here's the pumpkin that I promised to show in the dark. You can see how it looks. There's a light on the top, on the roof part, that it's creating the light. Uh, and I feel like it looks very well done. And it looks even better in the dark. 
you can see the lights are better and I'm most likely going to display it right there under um, Michael Myers and I feel like it's gonna look very very good I guess you can see I put everything there the hand the arm the mask the fist and here is the uh, the pumpkin see the base really well done pumpkin uh, I like this green color it looks super good see the face I was actually thinking if it looks like this better or more like a relaxed hand but I think I prefer this more right now that I'm looking but I think relaxed hand will look good too this is the knife uh, I don't really really like the out of blood looks here um, I wish it was more like red or thicker and more reddish job is good and there's a zipper here you can open the thing and there are real pocket and this is the black shirt under it and this is the mask I mean the, the head I will give this 9 out of 10 looks good this is how it like I don't like when the the lighting hits from the face like in front of it like this because you don't want the eyes to show that well I like it more darker in there and the hair are pretty good too I kind of see I put these parts out but I still need to touch up the hair I feel like it's gonna look even better. And you can also see this, the part that he got snapped right there. Alright guys, that's all about this uh, BCS Michael Myers statue. I'm very impressed, it looks great quality. It's good, it has bad parts too. Maybe I would say the price for this is pretty high, $600 for this. I would say maybe 400, 450 is more reasonable. But I would say if you guys like this and you guys wanna pick one up, I will definitely recommend getting the Slasher Edition because at least it comes with the pumpkin and bloody knife. And I feel like it looks way better to display like that. And then they're the same price, they're both 600. So I will definitely recommend getting the Slasher Edition. They only made uh, 1,500 of this. I heard like it's, it can be pretty high uh, since it's a uh, exclusive. Mine is uh, 1376, but it's still fine. <clears throat> Actually, because maybe they might know like there's a lot of Michael Myers fan and it's a reasonable number. But if you guys like this, you definitely go check it out. And I will also like to know what you guys think. And I actually like, I actually, I actually like that uh, finally a company gave us a Michael Myers that it has a green clothing. Uh, that, that's how it looks in the movie I heard. And a lot of people were asking for it that are we gonna see any Michael Myers that are actually gonna come with the green uh, clothing? Cause we, the way we see it in the movie is actually navy blue, which is super nice. But I heard that's the lighting in the movie. That's why it looks navy blue. Uh, but this is also my very first Michael Myers that is actually wearing green. I have one or two other ones, but they were all navy blue. So actually this one is gonna stand out really good. 
And uh, as far as the base, uh, it's pretty good. Like it's not too big and not too small. Uh, so it's not gonna, not, not, it's not going to take a lot of space. So that's actually good, especially for my room. Uh, and the bloody knife, I kind of don't really like the, uh, the blood in there. I will maybe like to touch it up and make it more uh, reddish. It, it's kind of light. Um, and the mask, I will say, is pretty good. Uh, is it like, I'm just thinking, I gives it, a, is it the similar to the pictures we saw at Sideshow website? I would say, yeah, but also no, but it's because it all goes, if you, what type of lighting you guys lose, if you use, if you guys hit it on his face, uh, probably it's not a great idea because you don't really want the eyes to show that much. So I will say, uh, it all goes with the lighting, but other than that, it looks really good the mask, the knife, and the base. So I will give this nine out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. If this is a pass or pick up, you guys like this. If you guys also like green clothing for Michael Myers or the navy blue, let me know as well. And also feel free to uh, like and subscribe for more unboxing videos. And until next time, I will see you guys later.